hello my loves today is today is the 12th of december and i haven't put a vlog up now for several weeks because as you guys will see in what's to come it all went a bit mental with prep for the john lewis pop-up shop that is now done um i've had last week i i was just trying to recover <laughs> and the week before that i was there so Basically this vlog is the lead up to John Lewis and then I will get back to vlogging. I've got to go to my parents house um, on Thursday this week, so the 14th of December. I'm not going to come home till the weekend. Um, I may try and vlog that week from Monday the 18th all the way through to, I guess, I don't even know if I'm going to get another vlog up. We'll see how it goes, but the one you're about to see is from prep for John Lewis up to kind of just before I did John Lewis and then in the next video I will try and talk to you guys about how it all went so if you have any questions anything at all surrounding that whole experience then pop them down in the comments and I will endeavour to answer those questions but let's hop straight back into this vlog where it's all a bit mad again <laughs> I still feel like I'm recovering now I have to tidy this office there's just like remnants of the war that was John Lewis everywhere. So yeah, let's hop into the vlog. If you are new here and there are several new subscribers, thank you for being here. We're almost at a thousand, which is unreal. So thank you so much. And if you are not subscribed yet and you'd like to be, please hit subscribe. Excuse my printer. I just decided it's gonna wake up right now. Um, yeah, I'll catch you at the other end of the vlog guys. Welcome back to a new studio vlog. I feel like I look very glowy. I put on some of the halo, no wait, elf halo glow filter thing. Um, and I potentially need to powder it down a bit because I feel like I look too glowy. <laughs> it's a Wednesday today. I have decided I'm gonna finish the batch of red baubles, the dark red baubles, and then call it on the baubles. I still have 16 to paint, but right now I've also got wood slices to paint um, that I want to personalize. So they're kind of a priority. So I'm going to call it on the baubles after I finish this batch, do everything else I've got to do. And if I've got any time, which I very much doubt, I will do some more, but we'll see. Right now I'm just about to put together another email sign up form because the one that I have on my website is for phone wallpapers, which are totally fine, but they are summary and I want to make some new ones for autumn or a new one for autumn winter. So in fact, I need to do that first because otherwise I've got nothing to link it to. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quickly sit here and see if I can use any of my existing patterns that I've already got to make a phone background to activate a new, activate? <laughs> to pop up a new email sign up form because I really need to do that. It's been sitting there for too long. I'm looking at the ball walls thinking, do I do some more of those first? Hi guys, so yesterday when I last spoke to you, I said to you, let's look on the iPad and let's make some phone backgrounds, but I actually didn't see anything on there that would work, but I remembered that I had some patterns on my Photoshop. So I did that and I made three phone wallpapers, which I'm gonna put here so you can see. Um, and I'll link the mailing list section over to that. That said, I haven't done it yet, but obviously by the time this video goes up, I would have done it. I'm gonna sit here quickly now and sort that out because I've already advertised them on my um, Instagram and so people are already asking about them. And then I'm gonna finish these baubles off. So this is what they're looking like so far. Um, I'm really, really happy with these. I think these might be my favorite ones. I've done the orange on the back 
and I just started some holly before lunch. So I've just got to fill in these gaps, which is still a relatively big amount of space. But yeah, so first job, sit down here and sort out those freebies and work out some kind of email sequence for those. Um, if you're on my list already, I'm going to send an email out with them already attached so you'll, you'll already have them. Today is Saturday and this room is chaos. <laughs> there is rubbish everywhere. I, I would show you but you're up on a thing. Um, yeah, the world's gone a little bit mad. I have a lot to do today. I basically today need to finish attaching ribbon. I can maybe show you. Hang on a minute, let me turn you a little bit. You see all of these? These are some of the boxes of baubles. Um, the rest of them are, well, the rest of them are in progress. I have a few more to add ribbons to. I'm going to do that. And then the plan is to take some photos. I will probably do those in here. I'll bring up my other studio light and try and get those done in here if I can. Um, yeah, I've just basically been working on my newsletter list. I mean, by the time you guys see this, the baubles would have been up for a while. So there's no point in me mentioning too much about my newsletter um, because it'll be done, The it'll all be sorted out. But I've been crafting some emails to those guys and just trying to kind of push forward. I feel really nervous, as I always do, when I release stuff like this because when I look at them, I don't... <sighs> I don't always love what I see. <laughs> I don't love some of the early ones that I've done. And then I look at ones I've done recently and I've been looking at them too much. I don't love those either, but it is what it is. Um, the other thing that I need to do is to um, sort out my wood slices. These are ones that have been painted in here. I have some more, although I don't know how many more. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to go. So I need to paint those. Luckily they are primed. Um, but yeah, I have to just try and get those painted. But they are quicker, which is good. So basically today we are going to embark on everything ball ball related. I have one more week to John Lewis. I have to do the spreadsheet for them. Um, it's actually for the Great Brand Exchange. It's the company that sort of host and sort out the artists that go in or the businesses that go into John Lewis. So I need to do that. That is a priority as well. But this is a big priority and it is already now quarter to 12. So yeah, I need to crack on. So I'm gonna turn you face down and we'll just, I'll have you over my head on a time lapse whilst I try and work out what I'm doing with my life. As I've mentioned in this vlog already, if you are interested in getting your paws on a ball ball, they are something super special, obviously all hand painted using a ceramic based ball ball and some gorgeous top quality paints. They are so, so special and you'll love unwrapping these every year. Use the code ball ball treat over on Leaf Lane Studio for 10% off. That only applies to ball balls, but I do have some of the wood slices still available too. And if you want to personalize those, you can add an initial in gold or silver. Today is ball ball launch day. It's Sunday. I I feel like I've said this to you every single vlog for like the last five or six that I have no idea what footage I've got for this vlog. I don't know what I've said, what I haven't said. I've been in such a mad launch mode. I have no idea. I think I'm pretty organised. I do need to do a couple of things with product descriptions, but I think I'm pretty organised for this. I I hope so. <laughs> Basically, um, I know that it's kind of irrelevant telling you guys this because it would have happened already, but there may be some baubles left, who knows, but basically I'm giving my mailing list a half an hour head start. So I've sent them an email with a link. It's not live yet. I'm working on the page behind the scenes and then the page will go live for them at seven and then everyone else will get it live at 7.30. I am just going over some inventory to check. There's a few things I'm running low of that I know that I have in stock, but I pulled a few things back for John Lewis. So I'm going to put some stuff back on my website just in case people want anything else. And then I have an order to pack, which the lady who ordered it may order a bauble as well. So I'm going to pack the order, but keep it open just in case. And yeah, I just hope for the best. I also need to just organize some of my John Lewis spreadsheet stuff. But yeah, 
that's where we're at but i think i'm organized i basically have let me turn you around so it makes sense this stuff here this is all oh not this stuff this stuff is all john lewis baubles here this is stuff that's on my website these are also on my website these are also on my website i'm running a little bit low on stock um I'm not stock space gizmo is being so helpful as always she is asleep i think i am going to do actually what i do need to do is product listings first get the website ready it won't take long it's almost there then i need to just basically decide the style of lettering that i will be doing for the john lewis pop-up personalization of the wood slices etc because I have a few different styles and I don't want to have someone in front of me and then be like mm. I want to have a bit of paper behind the stool where I can just be like yeah that's the style I'm doing stick with that and don't deviate um I'm only putting a handful of wood slices on the website but there will be some more going on I have this entire basket full of wood slices here that need to be painted and the ones I'm putting on the website are ready to go and they're put to one side so we'll see I just need to work on this I'm going to do the website first it's 20 past 12, so website first, and then we'll see what happens. Today is Monday, 20th of November. I realise that you won't be seeing this till a little bit later. This vlog is probably going to go up at some time that's really, really random because I know now that I have no time to edit this vlog, um, which would normally be going up tomorrow. Oh, I'm not proud of um, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, I have a lot to do today. Today, I normally would go to the gym right now, that's where I'd normally be now, but I had a good amount of orders last night, and so I want to get ahead of those because I have a lot to do for John Lewis, and John Lewis is on Monday next week. This time next week, we'll be in John Lewis, all set up. I have my Don't Forget to Take Up Space in This World t-shirt on this morning, to remind myself everything's okay. <laughs> Um, if you haven't seen my prints before, you can buy it as a print or a t-shirt. Um, just having some breakfast, I've got my protein oats and my blueberries and peanut butter. This pip and nut crunchy peanut butter, by the way, is the best. And I'm just about to send an email to my list to tell them that they have until midnight to use their code. Then I've got a crack on with orders. But the thing is, is that I like to film them for TikTok, so I'm going to be kind of like a little bit slower but also I have, I'm gonna have to personalize some stuff as well um, yeah there's there's a lot to do today so I've just packed some Etsy orders that were just for random things like cards and whatnot so I've done that and now I'm gonna eat my breakfast finish that email and then oh, I got my eye bags I thought that was mascara under my eyes but it isn't it's actually just tiredness I got up late today as well I needed to sleep though I mean if I was tired I wouldn't be able to get as much work done or good work done so it's important that I had that sleep. Right, email.
Hello my loves, it is now a day of the week, Wednesday. I have just had a shower so I'm looking a bit red and rosy um, and very undone because I haven't got time to get myself ready these days. Yeah, I wanted to basically make some belly bands for things like the desk jotter pads because you can't, um, you cannot know that there's a hundred pages in one of these unless I tell you there's a hundred pages and obviously you guys if you order from my website you'll see that there's a hundred pages so I got myself together and I made a belly band with the thought of wrapping it around that way but it doesn't fit so what I was wondering is if I was to put it long way and then tuck it in the back why do I feel like this needs to be a colour but I don't really want to use my inks for that so I was thinking if I do it like this and then I tuck it under the board at the back, well, let me do it quick. If I do it like this, get it kind of central and then, it's, I don't, this is only for John Lewis, I just want people to know that it's got a hundred pages. And this is potentially very fiddly and might end up taking me way too long. If I do it like this and then tuck it like this. I mean, it's not overly snug, but it might do the job. Right, I think I'm gonna go with it like this, because I think when it's in packaging, it looks okay. And if I lift it up, it sort of gaps a little bit. But I think when it's in packaging, it does the job that I need it to do. Thursday, I think. Um, I, I'm having a bit of a day of it today, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't think I am cut out for all this social media stuff, you know. I, um, I haven't by all means got a big account on TikTok. I have, I think, by the time this goes up, I think I've got 690 followers or something, um, which by all means isn't, hello fly isn't a lot and on um, Instagram 2600 I think anyway I don't really keep too much of an eye on it but I had most of my videos on TikTok they tend to get between two and three hundred views which again like nothing particularly special I'm not doing anything like groundbreaking on there but I yesterday or the day before I put up a video of me uh, printing off a card for an Etsy order and I just spoke about the printer I use, the guillotine I use, I didn't even talk in that much detail and that I was wrapping it in a compostable cello and all of this stuff and I had a couple of comments and I just, they're nothing even particularly major but like one person was like you should cut out on the plastic and I was like I messaged them back and said you know I only use the compostable cellos like when I need to, I don't need to use them all the time but when I do markets or like if I'm sending them through the post and they get damp which sometimes happens I don't want them getting ruined so obviously I'll put a compostable cello on and I just yeah like some of these little comments I just think god you know how do people cope that I've got hundreds of thousands or millions of followers because I don't think I'm built for some of these like if someone goes oh have you considered using blah 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 if it's like constructive when it's just like stop using plastic <laughs> i'm just like oh god you know i'm doing my best and i think that's the thing like we're all doing our best in this you know uh so yeah i don't know that i'm particularly built for the comments any of them <laughs> only the nice ones which is not very realistic is it anyway i'm sitting here right now um about to bark on a bit more packaging for john lewis stuff i um trying to get through today's gym liquid here <laughs> i took this to the gym i didn't finish it this is my new um gymshark water bottle i got this in their black friday sale and it's really really good i have one of those um big like keg water bottles that unscrew at the top but when i'm training i can never get to screw on right and then i shake it because it's got bcas in it bcaas in it or something and i get it everywhere because it's not screwed on properly but this one press a little button bob's your auntie really nice and obviously it's great i mean it's got 
my BCA is in it now, which are orange, but it has got a green tinge to it. I don't know if you can tell, but it has. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so I'm packaging some stuff up now. I am just about to sort through my planners, my wall planners, because I've printed off or made these little stickers to go on the outside of some tubes. Um, the lighting is shocking. Uh, and basically it just identifies what colour is inside so that I can take a few to John Lewis with me. And yeah, I've also just made a little time, uh, uh, what do you call it, a stop motion reel for Instagram and TikTok. A reel for Instagram and TikTok, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm just feeling all of the, all, all of this, this today. But yeah, I'm also looking a bit worse for wear because I got home from the gym, I didn't wash my hair yet, I washed it tonight. I'm just very worn out and I think that is what's happening now. I just, it's only a few days to go until John Lewis next week, is going to be pretty hectic. So on Monday, I think the alarm will be set for something like 4.30 or 4. Um, got to be at John Lewis at 6 am obviously and so need to give myself a good hour to have breakfast get sorted out gotta look like if i go to the market i'll just put a hat on my head several layers and walk out the door i might put a bit of mascara on but when i go to john lewis obviously i've got to look a little bit more presentable um so then it finishes at six and then every other day is nine till six thursday is nine till eight and then sunday is ten till four so it's going to be a long week the, it's 50 to 60 minutes each way because Exeter is an hour away. So yeah, I think I'm just feeling very, very excited, but also just really tired. And I, I don't have a lot of um, energy spare to be diluting myself down anymore. So yeah, I'm just gonna crack on with, I've got tidy way things I use to make my little stop motion. And then I'm gonna sort through some planners because I need to make sure they're all okay. Inevitably when you order things like the way they pack them, they pack them like posters, they roll them all up. Um, sometimes edges are damaged. Sometimes you can like flatten them out and they're fine. Other times they are not fine. So I just need to sort through those and then carry on packaging stuff. And then between now and Sunday evening, I need to make sure everything's packaged, gift sets are put together. If I have time to carry on working on the wood slices that I have downstairs, excuse me, hiccups, that would be great. If I don't, then I don't, but yeah. Job one, pack away the stuff I've got sitting on the desk over there. Today is Friday and I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then it's John Lewis. I feel a little bit like I'm getting a cold, which does not surprise me because I'm very, very run down. Um, but please, please, angels and cold gods, can we just not let this happen right now? Anyway, I'm just, he's banging. I am just about to tidy my office. It needs a dust. I am kind of getting there with the packing for John Lewis situation. I do have all of my gift sets to do, however, but, and a couple of things to print. I wanna do two A3 prints that I haven't got. Um, and then if I sell them, I'm just gonna try and drop down everything. And then when I get home in the evenings, if I need to replenish them, I can replenish them but I'm basically just taking everything. <laughs> That's the plan, pretty much everything anyway. Um, so yeah, everything right now is a bit of a mess, but that's not surprising because I'm trying to cram everything into this tiny little spare bedroom. So what are you gonna do? First job of today, well, it isn't the first job of today because it's already half 11. I've done a lot of other things today, but one of the jobs for today is to clean the office and then I can feel a little bit more put together. The rest of the house is clean now. So just this office to go. So let's do that. I can honestly say that I don't think I'll ever, ever let myself work this hard again. Obviously I'm on the other side of John Lewis now and we'll reflect on that in the next studio vlog, but I have worked nonstop without time off pretty much since post-surgery. And obviously I just had that massive operation in August, gave myself about a week to 10 days off and then threw myself into work. And I honestly, don't feel like that has done me any good whatsoever. I was so exhausted and I think I am, I've am. i learned a lot through this experience and I would not recommend anyone not taking a day off. Bad idea, don't do it to yourself. Um, but yeah, I think I'll definitely explain more in the next video. Ask any questions in the comments below, but 
I am now having a rethink. I'm going to have a good old plan for 2024 because, yeah, I I watched this video back and I'm feeling sorry for the Lucy that I'm witnessing on here. Do not copy me, guys. Not a good idea. You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that it was very, very delayed in coming out. Um, the sun is absolutely scorching my eyes. <laughs> scorching my eyes out which I can't complain about there's been a beautiful rainbow outside today so yeah thank you for watching as you would have seen it was all a bit chaotic up to John Lewis it was a stressful experience but I'm glad that I did it any questions that you have around it pop them down in the comments I will endeavor to answer them for you my shop is open until Monday the 18th of December so if there's any gifts you'd like to get any treats for yourself if you'd like to get the new version of the wall planners obviously this is this year's um if you'd like to get the new version it comes in cream and green and I do have a few left so if you like that then just order one of those what is a really popular edition are these little sticky tabs and um, these are by the brand Iconic I can't remember how much these are, they're under five pounds and they're just a group of sticky tabs and they're really, really handy. If you're not willing to commit to the planner, you can get some of those tabs. They come in three different colors. Order those with it and I'll pop them in the tube and then you can just like sort of draft out your year on the sticky tabs and then commit to ink when you're 100% sure or leave the tabs on. I just thought I'd mention that because it's a really good way of planning um, without committing <laughs> and messing up your new planner. Personally, I love a planner that looks lived in. I love it when it's got scribbles on it. Again, the other thing you could do, I've got the little erasable ink pens by Nagami. Um, so you could also opt for one of those and that way you could erase the ink off, but the choice is yours. Right guys, so for now, I am going to finish editing, get this vlog up, and then I will start vlogging as and when I can. I might just start vlogging right away and vlog what I can up until Christmas, despite the fact that I'm not gonna be here for a couple of days because it's my mom's birthday. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you to all the new subscribers, all of the long-term subscribers. You guys are amazing. We have built this channel up together and I am so proud of us. So thank you for being here. And I will see you guys in the next one, whenever that will be. See you later, guys. Bye.